Hi guys, we are on uh, Overcooking TV and we are now with Ross, uh, third winner of the uh, GoC 2010 North America final. So how do you feel after the competition? Uh, good. I had a lot of fun. It was interesting this year, only having 2D benches. I um, was kind of worried that somebody might have a uh, fluke processor that went way over 6 gigahertz and uh, nobody would stand a chance, but it was all real close competition, so it was good. I had a lot of fun. Okay, and can you remember the first round? Mm -hmm. And were you in the in the top five on the very good scores? Uh, yeah, I think I was fourth, third or fourth maybe, uh, towards the end of the first round and uh, had a little power outlet problem and <laughs> uh, everything went down so I had to swap, yeah, I couldn't quite finish. Just as I was getting stuff going, figuring out the board and stuff, I had a, it kind of went south on me and had a tear it down, get another board, and start over fresh for the second round. Okay, right, and second round you perform well. Mm -hmm. And uh, what was the, I mean, the best CPU frequency you, you achieved uh, for this um, competition? I think it was about uh, five point, it might, have, it might have been 5.8 on one of them. Um, maybe on max, man, I'm not sure. Somewhere in that neighborhood, it didn't go much over 5.8 though for bench. Do, what do you feel, I mean, about the feeling of this competition? Is that friend, friendly or do you have to compete with the other guy, like a big fighting competition? No, no, I'm friends with most of these guys, out, you know, outside of here anyway. I've been mentioning with them for a long time, you know, on forums and whatnot. And uh, I know most of them, so no, it's just uh, pretty much getting together with a bunch of old friends, just having fun. And, you know, it's competition on some level, but, you know, Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, quickly those scores, uh, first place has changed on hardware, but... <laughs> so, okay, and um, how can you explain to someone that don't know about overclocking, uh, how do you feel to be a part of this kind of competition? Uh, actually, it, it's just pretty cool. I like it, you know. Everybody's got their own hobbies and what they like doing. You know, sometimes it's hard to explain even what overclocking is to some people who don't know anything about computers, but, you know, it's basically, you know, I was telling them, you know, it's pretty much like drag racing for computers or something like that, you know. <laughs> How did you prepare for this event? Did you prepare for something like testing on the LN2 or...? Uh, you know, I tried. I got the board, I got the memory, and, you know, I had a 980 and I was all planned to uh, put some time in on the benches. Uh, some of them are not benches I do very often, you know, like Max Mem. I've maybe run it once or twice before. Um, but uh, it's been really hectic for the last uh, two weeks since I've even had the hardware. So I, even though I had the gear, I came in just almost without a clue. You know, it was just kind of, I was like that whole first round, I was pretty much still trying to fill everything out. And um, Normally I try to prepare, you know, I had all the insulation and all the mods and everything ready to go, but that was about it. You know, as far as actually doing the benches, I hadn't touched them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. And how did you insulate your motherboard? Did you use Vaseline or neoprene? Uh, no, I used, um, I make gaskets out of Frost King to go under the socket and you know especially for these you know it's going to be you know five six seven hour competition and it's going to be cold the whole time so um yeah i don't rely on vaseline much at all i go for do the gaskets and just make sure the installation's all well what do you think about gigabyte motherboard quality oh it's great i haven't had any problems with them at all they, they overclock great and bias is all nice and easily laid out and you know some some of their competitors that i've used have just a mishmash of <laughs> stuff everywhere, you know. <laughs> yeah, right. Is there a specific features you like on the on the Gigabyte motherboard? Um, well, uh, bias. Bias, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly, yeah. Like almost yeah, everyone, right? Yeah. Yeah, because you can set a lot of different yeah, stuff. Yeah, and that's, yeah, and the voltage understand. options and everything. Yeah, it's definitely, you know, user-friendly for an overclocker. Somebody's really going to push it. Okay, and what do you think about Gigabyte supporting the overclocking community with GoC, with the online contest? Do you think they're doing a lot for us or they can do even more? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I don't know what more they can do. I mean, these contests, they hell, you know, especially now the online ones also. But uh, yeah, these physical contests where everybody gets together are just great. You know, um, I won the first one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, ever since then, I just, it seems like they're all over the place pushing all kinds of stuff and competitions and it's great. So my last question is, how do you explain to someone that don't, don't even know <laughs> a, a minimum thing about computer? How do you explain overclocking to someone that you can cr cross in the road? Uh, you, yeah, well, like I said, usually uh, for layman's terms, I'll say something, you know, it's pretty much like drag racing for computers. You know, you're just trying to make, take something that's got a you know, specific speed and just trying to make it go as fast as it can. Yeah, that's basically yeah. overclocking, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we do it for scores, yeah. <laughs> okay, nice. So thank you for your time and maybe see you next year for the same competition. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully they invite me back. That'll be great. See you, yep. see you next year. Thanks. You, bye. Take care.